The film begins with Haruki. He came to the hospital to cut down his stitches, but suddenly his eyes fell on the diary lying nearby. When he picks it up and opens it, he realizes it's Sakura's diary. The diary was titled Living with the Dead, in which Sakura wrote about her pancreatic disease. She was about to die, and at that time, Sakura arrived, and she saw that Haruki had read it all. But Haruki doesn't have any friends to tell them about Sakura's disease, so it doesn't matter much. He returns the diary to Sakura and leaves, but Sakura smiles when she sees him. Now in the next scene, we see Haruki going home. Sakura sees him on the way. Seeing this, Haruki changes course, but Sakura smiles and goes after him and tries to talk to him and tells him to keep her illness a secret, to which Haruki says he has no friends. Sakura says to Haruki, I can spend the rest of my life with you, but Haruki tells her to leave, so Sakura laughs and says goodbye. Next week, Sakura becomes a library assistant at the same library where Haruki works. Sakura shows him a diary and tells him that she's made a list of things she wants to do before she dies, and tells Haruki to go with her. At first, Haruki denies it, but Sakura makes him agree to go with her. After that, we see both of them eating in a restaurant. Sakura asks him why you don't talk to anyone at school. Haruki says that everyone except his family considers him boring. But Sakura says she's interested in him, and that's why she asked him to come with her. Now they were walking out of the restaurant together. Sakura then saw a man harassing the old lady. Now she goes to the man and asks him to apologize to the old lady. But the man grabs her collar. Sakura kicks him and starts running with Haruki. Now running, they both reached a cafe, where Sakura asks for Haruki's number while talking, but Haruki forbids it. She then tells him that she'll be his friend until she dies, and Haruki agreed. Now when Haruki arrives home, he gets a message from Sakura that she had much fun today, and she asks Haruki to stay with her. The next day, everyone at school was talking about Sakura and Haruki. When Sakura gets there, her best friend Kyoko tells her that Haruki is not a boy of her kind. She says it doesn't matter, they're just friends. Sakura then goes to the library and tells Haruki that she wants to go somewhere, so Haruki goes to the cafe with her. After that, Sakura tells Haruki that she broke up with her boyfriend yesterday because he's so stubborn. Suddenly, Kyoko arrives there and tells Sakura to stay away from Haruki, after which she leaves. Then we see both of them on the beach, where Sakura tells Haruki that Kyoko is courageous, but if she told her about her illness, then whenever she saw her face, she would cry. And in that sense, Haruki should befriend him. On hearing this, Haruki said nothing. Sakura asked her if she would tell anyone about her illness, so not everyone will behave normally. But you treat me usually, even though you know my reality. So I can tell you everything, and I enjoy hanging out with you. Haruki then asks her if she will die, at which she laughs and says yes. We see them both at school, where a boy comes to Haruki and tries to befriend him by giving him bubblegum, but he says nothing. Now that their school holidays have begun, Haruki and Sakura lie down at home and go out of town together. They both start talking while traveling by train. There, Sakura asks Haruki his first name, on which he refuses to tell, because he didn't want Sakura to write his name in her diary, and after her death, Sakura's family came to talk to him. But later, he tells her, after which we see them both having a lot of fun and shopping. After all this, they stay at the hotel. Sakura goes to the washroom, and Haruki starts reading a book. Sakura yelled and asked Haruki to bring a face wash. But as soon as Haruki opened her bag, he got shocked and put the face wash in the washroom. When Sakura comes out after taking a bath, they play the game of truth or dare. Sakura chooses truth after Haruki's loss, and Sakura asks him if he likes her to which Haruki said yes. Sakura gets very shy to hear that. After which they both start playing and they ask each other many questions. Haruki learns a lot about Sakura when Haruki asks her what her happiest moment is. She tells him that when she met him, it was her happiest moment. Sakura finds Haruki's questions quite dull, so the next time she wins, she asks Haruki to pick her up and take her to bed. Now playing further, Haruki picked up the truth to which Sakura thought for a moment and asked, What would you do if I said I was afraid of death? Hearing this, Haruki gets a glimpse of what happened a while ago. He was surprised to see so many medicines in her bag, which is why Haruki chose Dare, 
on which Sakura asks him to come and sleep with her without any arguments, and Haruki has to obey. Now they both fall asleep at night, and the next day Kyoko calls Sakura and asks why she lied in her house that she was going out of town with him. Sakura apologized, and Kyoko tells her that if Haruki harms her, she'll hit her hard. Sakura laughed a lot when she heard that, and after that, Kyoko hung up. Then she laughs and tells Haruki what Kyoko says, after which they both start going back to their city, where Sakura says maybe we should go on a trip again. And as soon as he heard this, he agreed for the first time, and he says he had a lot of fun. Sakura was pleased to hear that. After arriving there, Haruki does not work for several days, and he waits to see her when school opens. Now we see him in school, where Kyoko comes to him and says, How dare you go with Sakura? She looks fearless, but she's very weak at heart. At the same time, she gets very frustrated. If something happens to her, will you take responsibility for it? Kyoko grabs Haruki's collar and tells him to stay away from Sakura. In the next scene, we see Sakura with Haruki in the library, where she's talking about a book. Asking him to walk home, Haruki doesn't read the book, so he admits that. In the next scene, we see them playing at Sakura's house. Sakura then asks him, maybe you will never treat me like a girlfriend. Haruki gets up at Prohibition, starts looking for the book, and leaves. Sakura comes from behind, hugs him, and says, I always wanted to do that. Sakura starts kissing Haruki. Seeing this, Haruki began to remember Kyoko's words. Then Sakura stops, and she says it was just a joke. Haruki then grabs her by the arm while lying on the bed. At first, Sakura forbids him, but Sakura starts crying when he doesn't move. Seeing this, Haruki gets frightened and runs away to his house. On the way, he meets Takahiro. He gets angry with Haruki because he goes to Sakura's house. Now Haruki tries to convince him that there's nothing between us like you think. But Takahiro says, the whole school is talking about you, which I don't like because I like Sakura. Now hearing that, Haruki says that Sakura doesn't like a guy like you who disobeys her. Takahiro gets angry and punches Haruki. Blood starts to flow from Haruki's nose. Sakura comes looking for Haruki. Seeing the environment there, she starts removing blood from her tissue and angrily tells Takahiro to leave. Haruki tells Sakura that it all happened because of you. Sakura weeps and tells Haruki that it's our destiny. We both met by luck, and please stay with me for some more time as my friend. Haruki realizes his mistake and admits it. Then Sakura takes him home, dresses him, and gives him a book. And then we see many pictures of them both in which they enjoy doing what Sakura wanted to do before she died. Then Sakura's health suddenly deteriorates. Due to this, she had to be admitted to the hospital. Now when Haruki comes to meet Sakura, she's dancing. And as soon as she saw Haruki, she hid in bed, embarrassed. Sakura then asks him to make friends with Kyoko. And they both play the truth and dare game, in which Haruki wins and asks Sakura the meaning of life. Sakura says that when we have some friends with whom we can share our joys and sorrows, that is the meaning of our lives. Kyoko was listening to all their conversations secretly. Haruki says, you teach me to live openly every time, and thank you for that. And hearing this, Sakura hugged Haruki. Then Kyoko angrily opens the door. When Sakura sees Kyoko, she embraces her and says goodbye. So Haruki leaves. Later, we see Haruki rereading the book. Sakura sends him a message that she will be discharged in two weeks, and on the day Sakura is discharged, Haruki rushes to the hospital, where Sakura is sitting ready. When they leave, he finds out from Sakura that she lied to see the festival, and she hasn't been discharged yet. Then they both climb a hill, and Haruki grabs Sakura's hand in conversation, and shares his feelings with her. He wants Sakura not to die. Now, Sakura is very happy to hear this, and says she's not dying yet. The fireworks go off, and the two embrace happily as they watch fireworks. Now comes the day when Sakura is being discharged, and Haruki starts walking towards the cafe. Now on the way, the same boy presents him with a bubblegum again, and this time he takes it. Upon arriving at the cafe, Haruki sends a message to Sakura, to which Sakura replies that she's coming soon. Still from morning till night, Sakura does not arrive, so Haruki goes home and starts eating. 
Then his eyes go to the TV, where the news was coming that a girl named Sakura was stopped at a shop and killed. He was very sad because of Sakura's death, so he did not leave his room for ten days and did not even go to Sakura's funeral. On the tenth day, he decided to go there and see Sakura's picture. He later tells his mother that he already knew about Sakura's illness and wanted a living with the dead diary. Sakura's mom says, I would have to give this diary to someone who knew about her illness. Also, learn about living with the dead. Now that Haruki has opened her diary, Sakura writes about the coffee bridges she shared with Haruki. At the same time, she loves his company, and she was written on the last page. It will be much fun to be discharged tomorrow, and reading this makes Haruki feel bad. Sakura's mother then tells him that she has written something else in her diary. Sakura writes that she has also written about many other people, but now it's up to you whether to show them or not. And to be honest, I liked you a long time ago, and while living with you, I fell in love with you. But every time, I would somehow stop myself, because our relationship was more than just friendship and love. I always wanted to ask you about being an aspect of your life. After reading all this, Haruki starts crying very loudly. And the next day, we see him in the cafe when he calls Kyoko. When she arrives, Haruki tells her about Sakura's illness. Kyoko thinks he's lying, so she slaps Haruki. Later, when Haruki shows her Sakura's diary, after reading this, Kyoko starts crying very loudly. And she gets angry and goes away, saying that you have to tell me first. Haruki grabbed the book and ran after her, and asked Kyoko, Would you be my friend? That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie.